Hi, my name is Ray Feller. I'm one of the deans in S Cubed, and I'm going to spend three minutes with you today talking about asynchronous classes and ways to improve focus. Um, idea number one, uh, it really helps to have a structure. And in some ways, with the asynchronous classes, there's actually a benefit in that you can choose a structure that works for you instead of following the structure that has been assigned. So for example, you can think, am I someone who does well if I have lectures back to back and I just kind of get in that lecture mode of thinking and then I have lecture days and work days or am I someone who does better if I spread them out am I better in the morning am I sharper in the afternoon and also really think about your circumstances this term and where you're living um, for example if you're living at home are there times of day where you have siblings around or parents around where things might be a little bit more chaotic um, and is that a better time for you to sit with headphones and maybe do a lecture as opposed to um, doing work? Or is that a really hard time for you to, to focus with a lecture and maybe it makes more sense to have it be at a different time? Idea number two, people. So, you know, normally when we're all on campus and I know we all miss it, I miss it. Um, one thing that I think is often helpful is that you walk to class with somebody or you walk out with somebody and get to say, you know, wait, I was confused about that thing. Um, or during class, you might look over at a friend and and laugh when something funny happens, you know, things like that. And I think recreating that for asynchronous classes can also be really helpful. So find a person in your class. It could be someone you know well, it could be someone who's new to you. I think a lot of people are trying to make connections now. So it's actually a really good time to reach out um, because they might appreciate somebody reaching out to them. Um, but reach out to somebody and make an agreement that you're going to attend lectures at the same time. So you might say, you know, afternoons work best for me, is there a time that works for you? Figure it out. And then um, you can chat during the lecture. You can ask questions of each other if something's confusing. You can still giggle if something's funny, um, but you, I think you'll feel a little more um, of a sense of being part of the class. And I, I think you'll also have some accountability because you know someone else um, is expecting you to be there. And, and that'll mean that you have to uh, make sure you get it done. Um, and then the third thing is please be patient with yourselves. This is a strange way to do the fall. You know, it's not what the fall would normally look like. It's not how school has looked before. I know in the spring there, we were all sort of trying to figure out how to make things work. And, and there might be ways that you did things that worked well and, and it might not have worked. And, and part of that might just be still experimenting and figuring out the best plan for you. Um, and if you're being hard on yourself for that, that that's kind of counterproductive because then you've got the difficulty and you're being hard on yourself. I think better to be willing to say, this is hard, it's okay for me to be having a hard time and to reach out for some help. Um, speaking of which, S Cubed is open. We are not on campus, we are wherever we each are, but we're happy to meet with students. We love to be able to help. You can email us at s3-support at mit.edu and someone will set up an appointment. Or we have walk-ins, um, you can get to them through our website, and those are from 10 to 12 and 2 to 4 every day. Um, so let us know how we can help, and please take care.